Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Singerman. I am in my studio right now, as you can see, and I'm going to share with you a little bit of the backstory behind my newest collection called uh, Searching on the Wind. So there's three of them there behind me, and then the other five, which I can't really point well behind me, uh, over there on that wall. And so this body of work started about uh, a couple of years ago when I asked a question or posed a question to my friends on Facebook actually and asked people to share images of places or landscapes that brought them uh, peace or happiness. And so people shared some photos with me of all sorts of different places. And what I first did um, using some of the photos is I made some drawings. I uh, that's just a couple of places and I tried uh, two different drawings for those. So I made some drawings uh, with all these photos uh, just to play with composition. So like shapes, the major shapes of the landscapes and figure out what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to take you to another series of little paintings. So, oops, so these paintings on the ground. So this was like the first round of kind of like research paintings I did at the time, uh, playing with shapes and uh, color and the reason I didn't really do anything with these at the time a couple years ago is that I didn't like the surface they were painted on. I had used some um, some leftover uh, uh, plywood that I'd cut up and, and primed and it was just too rough of a surface. It had all sorts of irregu irregularities which for me were kind of distracting. Um, so I didn't really do a whole lot with that that project for a couple of years and it sat. And then um, a few months ago, I, I mean, I kept them around and so I could see them in my peripheral vision all the time. I uh, wanted to do to pick them up again. And so what I did first was uh, I took them and made a series of small landscapes from them. So these are uh, like they're each five by seven or six by six for the square ones. Um, and those are all acrylic and those became my tiny landscapes. And then using those, and I do this a lot with my work, I kind of uh, make as much work as I can from one idea. So then from the little tiny paintings, I went and made the larger ones, the 18 by 24 ones. These are the three here and the five here. There we go. And so those are the paintings in my, uh, that became the Searching on the Wind series. So I started working on these a few months ago and uh, when they were bigger I decided that for most of these I wanted a little bit more than what was happening in the smaller landscapes um, just because the they felt some of them felt too simple and so I started playing around more with the compositions and the colors and um, these are these felt a little different to me, um, primarily because I stuck with acrylic for the whole time. Um, usually, or a lot of the time, I'll start a painting with acrylic and then move into oils um, just because I like the way oil paint handles. It's like very kind of thick and buttery and luscious. Um, and um, with these, I decided to stick with acrylic for the whole time um, and work much more kind of thinly with kind of veils of color um so that um yeah it was just kind of a challenge for me i decided to challenge myself to to make paintings that i would be satisfied with all in acrylic um and i hadn't done that in a while so that felt good um but it was a challenge because it it felt for me it required more kind of fidd fiddling around to get a surface that I was happy with. And so what I ended up doing, because acrylic dries so quickly, I did have some, there were some things I could do that I can't do as easily with oil. So for instance, in this one, I ended up going back in, I don't know that you can see very much with the video, but sanding um, the surface. And I did that with a few of them where I ended up sanding down the surface um, and getting some some effects that I don't typically have in my paintings. Um, and then in the end, once I felt that each painting kind of gelled, um, because it takes a while for them to, to feel right, but once I finished each one, I then took some uh, some wax. Uh, it's a not, not just any old wax, I'll show you. This is what I use. It's called 
It's a cold wax medium. Um, so I put on a real thin coat of that onto each one and then buff that. So they have like a kind of a satin finish um, because I wanted a really uniform um, satin finish on all of them. So this is the Searching on the Wind collection. They're all 18 by 24. They are acrylic on uh, wood, on cradled wood panels. And I'll show you what that looks like, a cradled wood panel actually. So I'll take this down. Up. That, so the cradle is the, the kind of frame on the back and that center part, and that keeps the wood from warping or, or moving around. So try to do that one-handed. All right. So thanks for joining me in my studio and bye-bye.